everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Okay, so today is my August 2024 unboxing video. And normally, I have multiple box boxes in this video. But this month, I only have ice cream beauty box, which is fine because I this is my favorite box. Actually, I'm supposed to have my Ipsy Icon box but it got lost in the mail. It was shipped out on the 15th and it arrived in Stockton, California. And then on the 23rd, it arrived back into Stockton, California. And then on the 23rd, it left Stockton, California again. So <laughs> I don't know. Um, it was all of those days, those eight days. I was like, where is it? What, what, where, where is this box? So, um, I, I really am actually filming this video pretty last minute because I was waiting for that box. It's still gonna be a great video because I love ice cream. It's my favorite. So yay for that. Also, I am going to put on the makeup in this box at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. I do have foundation and eyebrows on, so it might look a little weird <laughs> for that, but I just was putting on as much as of a face on pr prior to the rest of the makeup so that it doesn't take as long because these videos are usually long because I'm a talker, but hopefully this one won't be as long because I only have one box. Also, I put up my fall decor. I did it a little early this year and a little out of order this year. Normally I put up Halloween first, but this year I just felt like putting up fall first. I'm, I'm going a little off, off script this year. I don't know, but fall is my favorite, so I'm excited about it. Okay, also look at the shirt I just got. It says never better. <laughs> And it's a skeleton and I was thinking about it. I was like, I might wear this shirt all year because I'm always half dead, but you know, putting up a facade that yay, I'm doing great. I'm never better. So I thought it was funny. I got it from Maurice's if you were wondering. I do have a referral code for Ice Cream Beauty if you, and for Ipsy as well, but I don't have Ipsy in this video, in my description box. So if you are interested in getting Ice Cream Beauty, you can use my code to, um, I think it will get you a percentage off your box. It might get me a percentage off like a future box. I have no idea. Nobody's ever used my code. <laughs> I do know that the August boxes are sold out, but the September boxes are not yet. And I saw on Instagram that, that Ice Cream Beauty was saying that the September boxes are starting to, they're gonna have fall themed things in them. So I'm excited. I'm excited for that. As you can see, fall. All right, so let's get into this. I have already been talking for too long. The ice cream box always has the fun card in here, which I just love so much. I always talk about how I love it because it makes filling out my description box so easy, and it does. Anyways, so the theme this month is Journey to Paradise. Um, question, would you guys like, this is off topic a little bit, but would you, if I, when I get my Ipsy box, would you guys like to see that? Like, should I do like a Thursday video and get that up? Or is it like, meh, who cares? It's, I don't even know if I will even get it in August. So would, would that be something you guys would be interested in? Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a, in a, just a Ipsy icon box by itself video. Or if you're like, meh, we came here for the ice cream. So let me know. First thing in this box that I'm pulling out is from Medusa's Makeup. This Medusa's Makeup, I think I believe it's an indie brand, and I think that Medusa's Makeup used to do their own subscription box. They might still do it, but I never. I, I used to get Lip Monthly, which I actually was talking about in a in a video before, but I couldn't remember what it was called. But they used to have Medusa's Makeup in that box all the time. Anyways, this is a eyeshadow pigment by Medusa's Makeup and it is $12. So blue is one of my least favorite shades to wear on my eyes, blue and green, those in particular. It's nice, so I, it's only 12 bucks and um, it, it might have to make me step out of my comfort zone. We'll see if I can work that into the look today. Okay, the next thing we have is from Bow Babe Beauty and this is a sculpting contour palette. Ooh, it is bright, sorry about that. Um, well, whatever. Let's show you the back. So, boom, a sculpting contour palette. And considering we only have one box to open today, it is nice that we're getting more of a full face. Like this is the contour palette. We'll have, you know, bronzer slash contour, so we'll be able to put that on my face today. 
part of me is thinking I, I got rid of my slay glam and cancel slay glam because it kept coming so late in the month and then I got ipsy and now ipsy is coming late in the month should I just like ice cream beauty is the only one that's doing it right in my opinion um so should I just get rid of ipsy and just just have ice cream because I ice cream is my favorite so <sighs> save some money right I'd like to know you guys' opinions because all I have is my brain and I'd like you guys' brains to chime in so here we go here's this um, sculpting contour palette. Okay, I feel like what is this kind of like a finishing powder or wh what is that? I feel like even on the lightest skin tones that would not be a sculpting powder. But I feel like maybe it would be a good like brow bone highlight. I don't know. Anyways, this is not my favorite. This is not my favorite, but it is there. It's 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 in the box. Okay, this is something that I'm super thrilled about. When I saw it in the spoilers, I was like, oh my gosh, Fantasy Cosmetica is in Ice Cream Beauty. This is one of those things. I have a lot of reasons for liking Ice Cream Beauty. I love it because it comes early in the month. I love it because it's only $25. I love it because it's like five out of five makeup items. I love it because it has any brands and it's not just like any brands I've never heard of. Some of them are. Um, and then I end up hearing them about them over and over again because of Ice Cream Beauty Box. Like Bobe Beauty, I had never heard of until the, this box. But there are brands that I had already heard of and come in this box and I, I just hadn't purchased. And it was this, like this. Fantasy Cosmetica is a indie brand that I heart, I love. And I didn't buy any of their lipsticks because I don't remember. I can't remember if they came out during my no buy. I think maybe they were pricey. I don't remember. And so being able to get one of them in this box, I am beyond thrilled. I'm so excited. And look how pretty it's this. It's in the Lost Library collection was the collection they came out with at, in Fantasy Cosmetica. And I'm just, I'm thrilled to get something that I already wanted like, and normally that's what happens with the Ipsy box. Like, it, I get things that were already on my Sephora or Ulta wish list, and I get them in those boxes. To be able to get something that I've been wanting in this box, it's just really exciting. It's really exciting. And look at, look at the packaging. It's like a little library. Oh my gosh, I'm thrilled with this. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I didn't know what color I was gonna get. I was thinking I would get maybe a, a nude color. I knew that they, in this collection, they had like a blue and a green. And so I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna get those. But we have kind of like a, okay. I was I was thinking it was more of a, a orangey red, like a brown orange red. But no, it is, it's, that is like a true bright red. Really pretty. Okay, we're gonna wear that today. So that means I have to make the eyeshadow work with that. Okay, we can do that. Okay, then we have last Ice Cream Beauty box. We got almost this exact same thing. It is, uh, so on this card, it says that it is from Palace Identity, but I was watching other people's videos and this is actually a ZC, like it's kind of like how this is Fantasy Cosmetica and it's a Lost Library collection. This is ZC and it's the Palace Identity collection. So anyways, kind of confusing, but there it is. So this lipstick, it says this is $11. So there is no way I didn't buy this because it was expensive because $11 is not an expensive lipstick. I, the only reason I can assume is because it's probably a cream lipstick and I'm more of a matte girl. So I must have not purchased it because it was cream, but I'm glad to have it now. Even though it's cream, it's fantasy cosmetic and I just, I love that brand. Okay. So let's get into this. So last month we got this same packaging and it was a bronzer slash contour. And this month I have seen spoilers. And so I know that this is a blush. Oh, it is so hard to get into. And what does it say here? It says the Blossom Blush by Palace Identity. And thus it's also, you know, ZC from my knowledge. If you guys know differently, let me know. But that is what all the uh, YouTubers that I was watching said that Palace Identity was, was ZC. And I got it in the shade Hibiscus. And it's just as beautiful as last time. It comes in this pretty little baggie. And 
again, last time it was this beautiful packaging and last time I had this thing wrapped up as well. And last time I didn't take off the wrap and I want to take it off. It actually still has this little chain wrapped still <laughs> because I knew it would be difficult. Get off. Yay. Pretty. Okay. Now let's look in here. What color are we? Pretty. Okay. So also in last video, I forgot to mention that, do you see these pretty gold markings on here? That is probably an overspray. And like last time it came off in like right as soon as I put my brush in there. So that probably will come off right as soon as I put my brush in there. So we need to have this corally blush match this red lipstick. And then last but not least, we have the most exciting thing. And I was super excited about that lipstick. So I'm more excited for this. It's an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> there, one of the other things that I love about Ice Cream Beauty is they always have a palette. It doesn't always have to be an eyeshadow palette. Sometimes it can be a face palette, but they always have a palette of some kind. And this is Gourmand Girls and Ladybug Glow Cosmetics. And those are both brands, indie brands that I love. I love both of those brands so much. And they collab together to create palettes. And they were actually, again, like, oh my gosh, I'm, how many times am I mentioning last month's video? I don't know, a lot. But in last month's video, um, there was a choice between two different palettes. And last month, I chose both of them. I chose both palettes. Well, this month, you could do the same. You could choose between two different palettes. But the email that said my choice was ready also said that being able to choose both palettes was already sold out. But then when I got on the website, it actually said that I could still choose both palettes. And I was like, uh, I, so I might've been able to do it, but I didn't want it to like mess up my order and then I wouldn't get any palettes. So I was, I will put up a picture here of what the other palette looked like. And if you watch my channel at all, you will know that this is not my thing. I do not like these grungy greens. I just don't. I've talked about it too many times and I don't want to talk about it again because I'm, I just get annoyed with myself talking about it. So it's not my thing. This palette, this El Camino palette, it is so bright. This El Camino palette, I'm really thrilled. Let me show you. Let me stop talking about it and just show you it. Ah, it's so pretty. So we do have, I was gonna say only two shimmers, but that's not true. I thought it was only two shimmers. So two really like chunky, vibrant shimmers, but this one is actually also a shimmer. It's just more muted. So anyways, these might be like duochromes and this is just a shimmer. I don't know. Uh, actually, let's find out. That one actually looks like a duochrome. The one that I said was just a shimmer and those don't look like duochromes. I don't, I don't know. I'm very excited about this. We have um, a very summery shades, but a little bit like murky summery because we have like, I feel like this gray and another gray. Like I feel like it's a cloudy day at the beach. Although what does the cover show? Oh, it's like on another planet. The only thing that could make this better for me is if there were a bright inner corner for like a shimmer bright inner corner. Uh, but we're still gonna make it work. And I have to make it work with this red. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it work. I think I have a plan. And I'm gonna do something interesting, I think. I don't normally kind of go cool toned. I just don't really like the way it looks, but this, I like this palette, but it is challenging me. Um, and also having this bright red is challenging me. I'm like, how do I make this all work together? Okay. It's fine and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna make it work. Regardless if it actually works, I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> Cause makeup washes off. So let's go with this shade Alibi uh, as the tra transition shade. And we're gonna just see what happens. I think the other palette would have been probably better for this red color because it was, uh, kind of more of a neutral grungy palette. And this one has more of those summery tones. <sighs> I kind of, as much as I love red lipstick, I kind of wish I would have gotten more of a neutral lipstick. But anyways, 
we're going to step out of my comfort zone. I feel like you guys don't really get to see me do cool toned eyeshadow looks, so here we go. I usually just do warm tone because um, like orange and reds and like uh, burgundies um, contrast with my green eyes, and so that's my favorite. There you go, that's the explanation. Also, if you can hear the wind, um, it's a very windy day <laughs> outside, so the wind is just blown like crazy. Wow, that is beautiful. That is really pigmented. Um, there's an, a little bit of like pickup, fallout, but not more than I would say is not too much. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go with, I think this black. I know, right? Can you, who, who what? So there is this, it's called Dark Highway and then Peril. Um, I don't know. I think I, I, I'm a little scared to just go with black. So I think I might like tone down the black. I don't know. Considering how pigmented, I think I can build this up. We can make this work. I just don't usually go with like pure black, but I want this to work. You know, I'm actually not going anywhere. So I am in the middle of my work day and I just clocked out to film some videos because I was, my brain was getting sick of looking at the computer screen. <laughs> and I was like, I need a break from the computer screen. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, let's film some videos. And also I realized that my Ipsy was just definitely not gonna come. So I was like, let's get this, let's do this. And actually the gray with my gray shirt today is not that bad. So it hopefully will end up looking okay. I think I'm just gonna do the one eye on camera. So now I think I'm gonna do a halo eye with black. I know it's kind of scary. This is gonna be pretty though, I promise. Is it gonna be neutral? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty. Wow, maybe I'm gonna to have to make my husband take me somewhere. Be like, okay, I have a really smoky eye on today, so we need to go somewhere. We've just already seen all the movies in the theater. <laughs> we went and saw Deadpool and Wolverine, which was awesome. We went and saw Twisters, which was awesome. Though I was a little disappointed with the ending of Twisters. I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to say why, but I was. We are going to put on my NYX glitter primer in the middle. If I can try to get it in the middle. Yay. Okay, so I wonder how this will work out because this is like black, gray, cool tone. And then I'm going to go with this super warm tone sh shade in Courtyard. I don't know. I don't know how it will go, but we're going with it. I think maybe I should put whatever highlighter I have and like put a dot of the highlighter in the middle. I think that will just kind of lighten it up a little. Although I think it's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe I'm just biased because it's my own eye, but I think it's cool. Let me know in the comments if you know why I'm, I'm disappointed. If you've seen Twisters <laughs> and if you know why I'm disappointed <laughs> or if you were disappointed. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. A lot's changed. Um, all right, so I finished off the eye look and I put some of this excess in the um, lower lash line and then I thought it just needed a pop of something bright in the inner corner and so I put this matte, it's called Pink Champagne. I put it in the inner corner and okay, I think without the lipstick that this look is fun and pretty and dramatic. I really wish I had a nude lipstick today. 
do I love red lipsticks? Yes. And I think that especially with the holidays coming up, this is going to be so perfect. Just not with this look. But anyways, I put on a lip liner and here we go. Oh yeah, it is stunning. Not for this look, but I am uh, very glad to have it. Okay. So pretty. My sculpting palette. All right. Let me do a little bit of, I do like that we have like some options here. What if we kind of take a little bit of this here and put it as a brow bone highlight? It's a little bit yellow. Anyways, I mentioned it could be a brow bone, a brow bone highlight, so we might as well use it as one. I feel like I usually, for a brow bone highlight, wow, say that word five times fast, um, I usually use a highlighter because it, so it's sparkly, but. All right, um, I do like that we have the cool tones, so it is, you know, to, to contour, and then we have a warmer tone for a bronzer, so. Okay, we're going to just, I guess, mix those and go and contour. Nice, and the shade is good for me. It would, I, I mean, this one's a little bit darker, so that, but it definitely wouldn't be for all school, skin tones. But maybe this one is actually a contour for really fair skin. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, what I do know is that this does work for my skin tone. And it is fairly pigmented and it's, it's working well. It's working well for me. Man, I took a walk outside. I took my dogs for a walk and it was, it was windy. My dogs loved it, I think. So I think it's a good contour. It, it seems to have a good amount of pigment. It seems to blend well. I can't complain. I can't complain. Okay, now I'm going to take my big floofy brush and get a little, whew, my goodness, why do I always drop everything? Get a little bit of the darker, warmer pigment and just kind of, oh, it, oh no. It is pigmented. I thought, crud, I'm gonna have to use these sponge. I thought because I had the, the bigger brush that I would be able to get less pigment on there, but that was inaccurate. I was hoping to just kind of warm up the cheek a little, like that. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know if this shade will work for me. It is it is too pigmented, pigmented which is good for um, darker skin complexions. That wasn't too bad. So now we have the blush. Who we, okay. So the gold is going to go away, I think. And it did, it's gone. Pretty, it is pretty. It does have like the three different tones. So I think that if I concentrate it more in the middle, it'll be more of that orangey shade. And then if I kind of go more to the outside, I could get more of that um, I guess I would say it's just a little bit lighter of a pinky orangey shade. Nice. That is a really pretty blush. Who? part of me wants to take off the lipstick because it does not look good with this. It's a beautiful lipstick. It doesn't look good with this look. I honestly did try. I tried to make a look that would be neutral, but... This is a very difficult eyeshadow palette to go neutral. Okay, I guess I could have just gone just with this brown color, which would have worked really well. Or I could have gone straight cool tone and just gone gray, you know, these two grays and this black. <sighs> but that's not me. <laughs> I am, I like color. So I actually really do like the look. I, I, I find that it is unique for me. It's different, it's fun. I like it. I'm not done. I wanted to take a highlighter. I have this cookie highlighter and I wanted to maybe brighten it up. Oh, I, 
I forget how bright this cookie highlighter is. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of brighten it up a little bit in the middle. This cookie highlighter is always so much brighter. Cause in the pan, it doesn't look as like spotlight as it is, but it is a spotlight. Okay, great. And then we'll put some on my brow bone cause that's what I do. Do I like the makeup look? Yeah, I do. I like it as separate entities though. Like I like the lipstick and then I like the eyes. I've already mentioned that though. Together, together it's okay. It is okay, it's just a lot. It's a lot. There it is, there is my look for Ice Cream Beauty. My favorite box, I always love this box. Um, I will be able to put the prices and the descriptions of everything in my description box, so why don't you take a look down there. And then also my referral code will be down there if you wanna sign up for Ice Cream Beauty because next month they're gonna have some fall stuff. And if you like this video, like this video, and if you wanna see more from me, subscribe to my channel and click that bell to be notified of my videos. Most importantly, most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.